San Andreas stars The Rock, and it's 2015's The Day After Tomorrow, Armageddon, Deep Impact. 2012. This is probably going to be the fastest plot synopsis I've ever given in a movie. The San Andreas Fault is splitting. Earthquakes. Disasters. Buildings. They fall. The Rock. He rescues people. End of plot. And that's it. <laughs> <laughs> when you go into this movie, you pretty much know exactly what you're going to get because the trailers tell you what you're going to get. A lot of CGI spectacle, a lot of explosions and buildings falling down and rescue scenes, and you get that. Characters, they're not really there. Uh, <laughs> there's The Rock, and he's cool. In all seriousness, though, this movie knows exactly what it is. It's a big disaster movie in which earthquakes continually shake California. Buildings are falling down. People are constantly running from dust and cars and people and ass and guts and s snot flying everywhere. <laughs> And The Rock rescues a lot of people, and The Rock is cool. So there it is, that's your movie. I can't really see someone going into this movie and being disappointed because if you had high expectations in regards to story and plot, why? I mean, haven't you seen every single disaster movie ever? It's really just a showcase for great CGI. And San Andreas has great CGI. There's a lot of really good scenes, and there actually are a couple jaw-dropping, awe-inspiring moments. One involving a boat and a tsunami, and it was pretty impressive. The Rock is good in the movie. Carla Giugino, I think is how you say her name. She was great too. Alexandra Daddario. Let's talk about her a little bit. Lovely looking woman. Good and true detective, kind of bad in this movie. She did this overly shocked face for a large majority of the movie. And yes, in this situation, I would be shocked as well. It just, it felt so over the top. And then there's an actor like Paul Giamatti who just is exceptional. He's great. He's one of my favorite parts of San Andreas. He never feels like an actor in this movie. He just feels like his character, a scientist who's exploring, trying to figure out how to predict these earthquakes. And he did a great job in the movie. For the most part, the acting is fine. There are moments where they're trying to flesh out the characters more involving a pass between The Rock and Carlo Giugino, but there wasn't really much else. It was just The Rock, you're cool and you can rescue people in your helicopter and you're freaking cool. And that's really it. So if you enjoy that idea, probably you'll have a good time with San Andreas. But for the most part, it's just an opportunity to showcase a lot of awesome disaster sequences and people running away from things that are falling apart. And after a while, it actually got a little boring because it really is just the same thing over and over and over. But if I were to judge this on like the disaster movie scale, you know, where does this stand in regards to all of these big, gigantic pictures? It's not on the bottom. It's actually better than some of them. I'm going to give San Andreas a C plus. I think if you just go into this movie knowing that it's really just a bunch of buildings collapsing and people running and The Rock is awesome and he saves people and The Rock is so cool and you're awesome because you're The Rock. Mm. But the film's attempts to be deeper don't really rise above the CGI spectacle, so it kind of falls flat in that regard. Guys, I'm curious to know what you thought of San Andreas if you did see it. And as always, thank you so much for watching, guys. And if you like this, you can click right here and get stuckmanized.